She never seen him. Oh my goodness. She might not like it. She might not like it. No. Double feature. Picture show. Love this movie. I love this movie. They're doing this play all wrong. They were supposed oh, they were supposed to change into the room after the wedding, not before the wedding. I don't think it's the groom, bride and groom that go go this time either. It's what? the best man. What? Yeah. No, it's supposed on. to be Janet and well, they they're, they're not married. Right yeah, but yeah. Janet and Dude's I not married. What are you scared of, Savannah? Oh, Lord, they're in horrible mood. They didn't get enough man. Alright. Is that Victorious right, and, D and Dougie? Or Diggy? Right. Victorious and Diggy. I think that's really it. Yeah. What do you wish? Janet. 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 I love you. See. I don't know. There's a light over at the Frankenstein place. There's a light burning in a fireplace. There's a light, light in the dark. Everybody's Hey everybody, it's Marquita. Gary. Um, we are Hi. and Hannah. We are here talking about um, um I, I keep wanting to call it American Horror Story. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show time and more pre-visited. Um What time we're picking? Let's see the time. Stop, Hannah. We like I came here because Mama. The show overall was okay, but because I like the original, because I like the original, I felt like they shouldn't have made it because they did not stay true. They did not stay true or do justice <laughs> the original. And um, okay, I'll start with the positives because I got a lot of negatives. The positive about the movie was that I guess it had more diversity, if I right, like yeah, a little a little bit more diversity. But I mean that wasn't important. Um, another positive was what's um Ryan no McCartan Fred yeah what's his name M Ryan McCartan. Ryan McCartan. McCartan, which is aka Diggy, if y'all watch um, uh, Liv and Liv and Maddie, um, or you know, he played um, Brad, uh, Janet's fiance. Anyhow, I think he, he was the only one that, if you see the original Rocky Horror Picture Show and you see this one, it's like. It did it. What are you doing? What is that in your mouth? Taffy. You're green, Taffy. Hannah, go on. You're getting it all over your pajamas. Yeah. Hold on. 
um, he was the only one that I felt like nailed it. nailed it. Like he acted like the original Brad. He seemed like it was like okay, I'm doing it. Like I'm doing a performance. I'm gonna I'm gonna give my all. That I felt like okay. You know, if they remake it, they need to get him back. If they can't, well, I think. Tim Curry is too sick to do it. Or not not Tim Curry. Um the original dude. He was the mayor off of Spin City. Anyhow. Um Barry Ballsworth. Barry Barry's Bal Ballsworth. Yeah. Barry's Bal Ballsworth. But anyhow, now for the negatives. Hey, shut um, that name. Okay, the first negative I feel is um, was Laverne, Laverne Cox. I think what I did not like about her, his performance, um, was the fact that I feel like she was trying to channel Tina Turner with the arm shimmies and the head jerks you know classic tina the legs it's like okay but you need to not make tina um the new uh i keep on the call frankenferger and that was another thing they changed his name what did they call him they call him frank furger frank frankenferger they call him frank Ferger. furger no, it's Frank and Furger. But anyhow, um, so that's another negative. And then, um, they met, they changed how, um, Frank and Furger came in. It was, it was the, um, elevator, right? Yeah, he came, comes, he down came the elevator. He comes down in the elevator. And dressed in drag. And dressed in drag. But they had... Brad and Janet go up some steps or go go through a picture, go up steps and walk into the dance room. Through a fireplace. Through the fireplace. Not and, through a door, through a fireplace. Yeah, not through a door, through, uh, through a fireplace. So that's like like the elevator. And, and I thought, okay, well, they're doing it live. Maybe they can't use the elevator. But... They do have an elevator scene, and it's when Frank and Ferger and Janet, um, I don't know what the name of the movie, I'm going to call it uh, Janet Wise, Wise, whatever. Janet Wise. Janet, Wise. Janet Wise. If that's the name of the song, that's the song that they did, but they did it in the elevator. So it's like, you could have stuck to the original one. And then, speaking of the elevator in the dancing room, they changed um what was it hold on there. um they they didn't do the dance right um i felt like they tried to modern modernize it it didn't work they should have just did it the original at the end of the song they're supposed to dance and slowly fade and fall they didn't. They posed. They posed. Then the music stopped. Then they fell. That's not how the original did. And um, what else did they do that I was not happy about? Um, I think the rock. Well, I get. I I give them a pass on the Rocky. Um, and I'll give them a pass on, um, no, no, I get, well, okay, yeah, 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 the, good. the riff, oh, the, and him singing, what was he singing? He was, well, at the time wasn't all that, he wasn't hitting the highest note. Yeah, he, he, wasn't as rough he didn't, he didn't do, he didn't sing the time warp right. And I give him a pass on, um. What's that one where they jumped in the water? And then... Yeah, it's, uh, 
I don't know what it's called. Wherever they jump in the water. Now, the only reason why I'm giving them a pass on that Rose one. Tent. Rose tent my world. Rose tent my world. The only reason why I'm giving them a pass on that one is because that's the only thing that scared me about the original uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show is when they jumped in the water and they're just swimming up under each other and all that. I don't, I, I have a water phobia. Like, I don't like swimming and it's only because I don't like water on my face. And so when I see somebody swimming in water and it's like they're deep, it, freak, like, it, it almost triggers an anxiety attack but that's just me personally that's why i said i give them um a break on that because they did it but they they weren't swimming up underwater they wasn't like like to me mm -mm. and then um i did like christina M million and um there she played who did she play did she? Yeah, yeah, Magenta. She played Magenta, which is uh, Riffraff. Yeah, Riffraff. Riffraff's Riff sister. I was thinking of the rapper. Y'all forgive me. But uh, she played the sister. And then, so I, I liked, and, okay, what I did not like was that Adam Lambert, if you're going to do Meatloaf's part, do the whole song like Meatloaf. And what I mean by that, tell them what I mean by that. Okay. In Meatloaf's song, there was a part where the words are, there's a whole lot of words at once. Yeah, and the director explain. originally yeah. had told him, told Meatloaf, just to squeeze in as many words as you can, but you don't have to complete them all. Just get as many of them as you can. And he said, well, why would I just complete as many as I can when I can do them all? And he did them all. Yeah. He got every word in the song in, and if he could do it, anybody else should be able to. Yeah, so what they did was, when he was singing that <coughs> part of the song, he just skipped over it. He didn't do it at all. So that part of the song was not in the, it was not was not in the play. And so threw, that threw off the knife scene when uh, yeah. Dr. Frank Furter was supposed to take after him. Yeah, and then he fell out a window. He didn't fall out. He was supposed to be stabbed in the freezer and froze. Yeah. So and, they could cut him up for meat later. Yeah, and he didn't. He fell out a window. So, this just a little bit of things that I didn't like about it. And the castle, Frankenstein's house, or Frankenstein's place, the castle, only they a made it a theater. That was not how the original did it. It was not a theater. It was an actual castle. And another thing, when they went back home, only Magenta and Riff Raff uh, transported or uh, teleported back home. The house or the Frankenstein place, the theater, Sort of was paradise. it just started falling down? That's not how the original. The whole house. It did right there at the end, but it was supposed to win at the same time. Yeah, the like they weren't supposed to like, you know, trans. Uh, <coughs> you know, they weren't supposed to leave and then the house goes. No, everybody left at the same time. But <clears throat> is that the only thing we had a problem with? Oh, uh, I think so. I think that was all. Um, my favorite song out of the whole movie. Well, <clears throat> hands down favorite song is I'm Going Home. And I already told Gary, when I die, this is how I want it to happen. When they bring in, or like when people's walking into my front year, I want them to play Helena by My Chemical Romance. And then I want them to play, like, and when people leave to go to the graveside, I want them to play Helena by uh, Chemical Romance. When they're lowering me in the ground, I want them to play I'm Going Home by um, Dr. Frankenfurger or uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know it's morbid. Why am I talking about death? I just, you know. Tim Curry's version. Well, Tim, yeah, Tim Cur Cur Curry's version of it. That's the one that I want sung. Um... I think that was all. Do you have anything to add that you could think of? Uh, 
I don't really, not, not really. Uh, basically, they, they did did okay on it. The song mm -hmm. sounded all pretty good, pretty close, with a few, with a few things off. Uh, oh. I don't think they should have used Hold a on. transvestite for it. It's supposed Hold to be like a normal man. Yeah. Going through that, and that takes away from the comedy. To me, uh, uh, them having a transvestite in there doing that, doing that part, took away from the show because the original show was put up there, was put out in theater for the shock value of it. Uh, and when people went, you had other people acting it out in the audience, which they kind of showed a little bit as to how the audience was supposed to be reacting to the movie in this movie. Uh, but it took away a lot of it because, uh, when Tim Curry was coming down dressed all in drag, it just, it just sparked something. It was funny because you don't expect him to come down looking that way. And I guess that always looks that way. And the, and another thing I had a problem with it was the Eddie scene. Now, he was supposed to have been frozen with chunks of meat because they were eating them. Okay, well, what they did was, it was like they had like a bloody pot roast, and then they uncovered the table, and it's Adam laying there in a the coffin. With no, no meat out of With him. no meat out of them. It's like, it's, it's like you're supposed to be eating Eddie, but you're not showing any chunks of meat out of them. But okay. Anyway. Yeah, that that was another really bad part because uh, you need to have that little bit of, of gore to get it across what they really were eating because they never. I mean, the movie neither one goes into what they're really eating. It's just Frank and Furry going through that, and they're talking about eating how bad he was and all that, and then Frank Furter Frank and Furter refer, reveals it at the end. And you see his body there with little chunks of meat out of it, and then you realize, oh, they were eating him. Yeah. That, that's, that, that was really bad. Uh, other, uh, other than that, it, it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Reeve Carney, who did Riff Raff, I think he nailed, he nailed it pretty good as far as the voice and the talking part. Some of the singing, he wasn't hitting the roughness and gruffness in his throat like the original riffraff, but then again, there's only one riffraff. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? And of course, they added a part called the Usherette, which was a woman at the first that's oh, at yeah, the yeah. theater, and she's singing the science fiction double feature song which is the lead in song to it and uh, that part didn't exist in the original movie it starts off it's just it's just them yeah and it's lips singing yeah it's li just lips on the screen singing which yeah. is was Tim Curry's mouth it was Tim Curry singing it yeah they did it at the end when it was going off they they did put the lips singing um, at the end of the movie and so that was okay but other than that it was a good it was a good movie or a good sh yeah I guess good movie good show because it was it was live but other than that like y'all can look it up and look at it and y'all might not think the same thing that I thought but I was disappointed that they changed things and when like the changes that they made were not better than the original they could have just did the original <clears throat> well, also in the and, original yeah. right at the end when uh <clears throat> Riff Raff shoots frankenfurter well what i was saying is that at the end of the original rocky horror picture show when Riff Raff shoots frankenfurter rocky goes to try to save frankenfurter uh, by climbing the RKO radio tower with Riff Raff shooting him, kind of like uh, King Kong did yeah, with King uh, Kong, yeah. in, in King Kong. And he's supposed to fell back 
into the water with Frank Frankenfurter, and that's how he died. And they, this one, they took it. He just went over, <laughs> laid Frankenfurter onto a hand that had lowered Frankenfurter down into the theater, and then died beside it and fell on the floor. Yeah. That that kind of took away from it a little bit too, because it's supposed to indicate Rocky's love for Frankenfurter and trying to sh save him, and so to me it took away a little bit. Yeah, he's trying to save Frank Frankenfurter, but he didn't really have him between himself and uh, Riff Raff. If Riff Raff was shooting as much, and I. Mm -hmm. To me, as a little disappointing because I expect the RKO. That's what <laughs> made that because they're supposed. To, that's who's supposed to be the tower that they're sending home, sending their messages home to uh, the planet uh, transsexual and uh, uh, Transvania. Yeah, I, I said it wrong. Yeah. In the solar system, Transylvania. But y'all just check it out for yourself. You might like it. You might. Hey everybody, we're here today to try the Lay's Southern Biscuits and Gravy. Now. If y'all didn't know, I am a southern woman. A southern belt. Yeah, that's me. I am southern. So I feel like if anybody... Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Because the phone's in the way. Well, I mean, it's shining in my retinas. <laughs> Trying to find a light. Maybe. I don't know. That's, yeah. Okay, anyhow. Hi. Um, if y'all didn't know, I am from the South. Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Born and raised in Tennessee. Hold on. My mom is calling again. Hold on. Hi. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Are you outside? Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm about to taste the chips. No, we're making a video. Yes, of the chips. <laughs> but, but this is what they look like. Well, no, not you. I'm talking to the camera. She don't know how this works, y'all. This is what the chips look like. Looks like it got some pepper. Like pepper. No, I just got. The, yeah. Did you taste it, Hannah? Is it good? Here's the van. Here's your chip. Taste it. Taste it. Taste it, baby. She's going to her ouchie to everybody. Right, show your ouchie. Show your ouchie. That's Savannah's ouchie. She slammed her finger in the door at therapy. You know, eat it. Yeah, I told you. you. Like Here. No, I'm putting it, it on Facebook. It. I'm on the phone, y'all. Y'all know how it's that is. Try it. Here, girl. Here's your chip. It's not hot. It shouldn't be hot. I haven't tasted it yet. Looks like it. Looks like sausage gravy. I think it is sausage gravy. Hold on, let me taste. Here's my chip. No. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Hold on. Test. With the white gravy. Yeah. yeah, that's what these chips taste like. Taste is good. It's really good, eat girl. It. Yeah, no, well, if eat. you taste these chips, it's good. 
It tastes like the, the uh, white gravy with sausage. That's white gravy. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. These are really good. They are good. Mm hmm It's called Seth. Bless you. Yeah, so 2015 winner. Uh, do it's us a favor. Spicy. It's Lay's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Southern Biscuits and Gravy. Well, it was, it was in the ones. It was in the... Resuming the swim team is Mara Stumpf, daughter of Lamar and Amy Stumpf of Friendsville. She is escorted by Philip Reset, son of John and Janet Corral Corral of Maryhill. And finally, representing the William Blunt Web Designers is Sarah Lynn Brandt, granddaughter of Sherry. The Hawks. <laughs> I ain't going to need it. Yeah. Do a walkover. Yeah. I put my, I put my hair up. Okay, go ahead. Like this. Yeah. All right.